In the last week, three Amur falcons, raptors that are the size of pigeons, have travelled halfway across the world from Siberia to Somalia. And this is their annual migration. Hello and welcome to The Print. This is Akanksha Mishra and I'm here to talk to you about Amur falcons and their remarkable and somewhat unbelievable migration story how they traverse the world, led by the winds and the stars. They have the longest migration route among all raptors in the world. And today, we will be discussing the role that India plays in this annual journey. These Amur falcons are tiny birds that breed in southern China and Siberia. They are named after the Amur land region in southeast Siberia, where they originate. But every winter, as Siberia freezes over, the birds take a long, arduous journey to greener pastures in Africa. The average Amur falcon flies anywhere between 6,000 to 10,000 kilometers from Siberia to Mozambique, Kenya, Somalia, and even further down to South Africa. Their migration is also a wonderful sight to watch since they breed, roost, and fly together. At one time, thousands and even millions of falcons can be seen flying overhead as they head for their destination together. Most studies indicate that Amur falcons migrate for the same reason that every other bird migrates every year. Warmer climates and it's easier to find food and mates. And also, there's a special pattern of travel that saves Amul falcons the trouble of finding and building nests and hunkering down for the bitter Siberian winter. Not only is it an extremely long distance for these birds to fly every year, but they also do it almost non-stop, finishing the entire flight in 10 to 15 days of non-stop flying. The most important aspect of the Amur falcon's migratory flight, however, and the reason that we are making this video, is their main layover, which is Manipur in northeast India. Every November, hundreds and thousands of Amur falcons descend on Manipur, Assam and Nagaland to stop over and refuel on their journey. For years, local tribes in Manipur and Nagaland used to hunt these birds in the hundreds, only stopping in early 2020s because of concentrated efforts of scientists, ecologists and governments. But why Manipur? What's so special about Northeast India? This was the question that prompted researchers from the Wildlife Institute of India to begin tracking and studying Amur falcons in 2013. They decided to geotag some falcons when they came to Manipur and track their journey through the year. It is what led the WII to discover the amazing route that the birds follow. And further research on Amur behaviour in Northeast India led them to finally understand why they stop over in Manipur every year. The answer is protein. To complete their long journey every year from Siberia to Africa, the birds need to make a pit stop to refuel and stock up on food for energy. And there is no better place than Northeast India in October and early November when the soil is full of delicious termites for these birds. The insectivorous raptors take two or three week long breaks in their Northeast India haunts and they fuel up on insects. According to a study by WII scientists, a million Amur falcons can go through more than a billion termites in just 15 days. They make it a point to stop in Manipur for the refueling journey because the end of the rainy season in Manipur perfectly coincides with the beginning of their journey, which means that there are fresh termites in the soil waiting to be fed on. It was meticulous research by WII scientist Amarjeet Kaur who found this connection between Amur falcons, migration and termites. She and her colleagues studied the regurgitated pellets of Amur falcons in northeast India and they found many traces of termite remains. After refueling, the birds again embark on their journey towards Africa with the next stop usually being somewhere in Maharashtra. This stop is also essential not because of food as much as just to catch their breath because the next thing that they're going to have to do is cross the Arabian Sea non-stop. This flight isn't just a display of their bravery though. It is also very meticulous calculation of the perfect weather conditions that support their flight. 
According to a study by Bernd Mayberg, who is a famous raptor specialist from Germany, Amur falcons time their migrations so that they are supported by monsoon tailwinds over the Arabian Sea. Helped by these winds, most of the birds complete this oceanic stretch in five days of non-stop flying until they reach the warmer climes of Africa. While some stay in Kenya, others go to Somalia, some go to Johannesburg or Mozambique. This is where they will stay until summer in April and May, before returning to Siberia through the same route. Another observation that was made by Bayberg is that when the birds return to Siberia in April, May or June, their breeding season is also calculated to start late. The birds use the nests of Eurasian magpie birds to breed in Siberia because by the time the magpies have already hatched and left their nests, the Amur falcons make their way to Siberia. A 2010 study by Cambridge University Press showed that Amur falcons in South Africa usually roost in eucalyptus trees and they can tolerate most disturbances around them. However, they are still being threatened by human activities in Africa, mainly deforestation, strip mining and agriculture, which reduces both their habitat and their prey base. The migration of Amur falcons has been studied deeply by the WII and now even by villagers in Nagaland and Manipur, who until decades ago would hunt these birds without knowing their value. Now, with the support of WII and awareness programs, Amur falcons are protected in Manipur and their journey is watched by local communities, scientists and government authorities alike. The bird's journey might seem unbelievable to many of us, but it's important to keep in mind how they are an indication of a centuries-old, well-oiled pattern. Guided by their genetic intuition, these birds know exactly when to leave Siberia, exactly where to stop in Manipur for refueling, and exactly how winds across Arabian Sea will guide them to their summer home. This intercontinental flight is just one of the many wonders of the natural world. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for tuning into The Print.